college football analyst, former SEC coach of the year, Houston Nutt. Coach, good morning. Good morning. So it's good to talk to you, my friend. What would you think about Ohio State jumping LSU? You think it was valid? I, I could see uh, plenty of reasons why you could uh, argue to put them at number one. But uh, also, uh, you know, I could argue the other way, too, to keep LSU right there. When I look at their four wins and uh, those four wins versus a, a top 15 teams, you know, you could argue that way, too. But uh, I get I understand they, they probably went more on the – complete uh, as a whole team, especially on the defensive side, I, I could see where they'd be number one. You know, here's my problem with it. If you want to argue that Ohio State's the more complete team, was this the week to do it? I mean, they they were able to shut down a really bad Penn State offense, but they were also really sloppy in that win and yeah. coughed up three fumbles and lost them. So it, it didn't feel like to me that this was the week to say, oh, you know what? Ohio State is really dominant. We should hop them into number one. Did it for you? Right, right. I, I, hey, I can again. I, I can argue both teams, no question about it. The good news is uh, there's still some games starting this weekend. Ohio State going against a very tough Michigan team, and then um, uh, LSU still still has to play Texas A&M this weekend, and then Georgia. So there's still a lot of lot of time, a lot of ball left. But uh, again, I can argue both for both teams. What do you think about that number four slot? Would you put in, let's say Utah wins the Pac-12, would you put in Utah? Or if Alabama looked really good against Auburn, would you put in Alabama? Well, uh, <laughs> I've always been for the champions. But, uh, you know, there's something about uh, if, if Alabama wins and they, and they do it in a dominating fashion, I think it would be hard to keep them out. Uh but that's where, if we had our brothers, I think that's where you'd love to have five championship teams and three at large. But we don't have that. So this is what we have. And so this is where the discussion comes in. I just think it would be very hard to keep Utah out if they go in and run the table. They're champions. Uh, I don't see how you're going to keep them out. Yeah, I think that's an interesting point here is that the committee says we will prioritize conference championships unless it is clear and obvious that right. one of the non-champions are one of the four best teams in football. And I'm not sure you could say that about Alabama considering their schedule, how they looked against LSU, losing Tua, etc. What do you think, though, about the Pac-12? How have you viewed that conference this season in terms of strength? You know, not 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 very strong. Uh, you know, I have a lot of respect for 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 Utah. I love how physical they are, and uh, the way Hunley's playing. I really thought Oregon was going to go all the way and win a championship, and I thought they would be there. Then you look up and and they stump their toe. Um, but when you look throughout from top to bottom, and and there's there are some good teams. I just think overall there's some other conferences that are better. Houston Nutt joins us this morning on the show from the CBS Sports Network. Do you think Georgia could upset LSU in Atlanta? Oh, yes. That game can go either way. Georgia has an outstanding defense. Uh, Jake Fromm, for most of the year, besides the one hiccup, has done a great job of taking care of the ball. you got DeAndre Swift. The receivers have gotten better. And then when you have a big offensive line like that, uh, in the trenches, Georgia is fast and athletic, and I mean on both sides of the ball. So definitely they could. Uh, but uh, that that that's going to be fun, fun to watch. You're talking about two good teams, especially Joe Burrow, the way the, his season has gone, uh, Jamar Chase, the receiver, Jefferson. And then it looks like right now Clyde Edwards and Hilaire, nobody can tackle this guy. This guy has just been unbelievable. Oklahoma's had some rough outings the last month. They were getting drilled by K-State before a late comeback. They were getting drilled by Baylor before a late comeback. They gave up a big comeback to Iowa State. They gave up a big comeback against TCU. Do you think that because of that, it should keep Oklahoma out of the playoff discussion? I, I, I think you got to play it through on this thing and see what, what all happens everywhere else. If Oklahoma wins out, and we're talking about, again, going against a tough Oklahoma State team. You know how the rival games are. Bedlam, that's going to be tough. Then they got to play a championship game. If they beat Baylor and they beat them in a, in a dominating fashion, 
you know, again, depending on what happened, I think they're going to need a little help where they are, but they could they could some way find their way in there now. Houston Nutt joining us from the CBS Sports Network, college football analyst inside college football, amongst other programs on the CBS Sports Network. In terms of these top three, Ohio State, LSU, and Clemson, I know you said you could make an argument for either LSU or Ohio State. Who do you think, though, is best served in a playoff? Who do you think is best has the best potential to win those two games? Oh, man. <laughs> That's tough. All three of them are so good. You know, the one the one team that it seems like we don't talk enough about right now is probably Clemson. And uh, Clemson, to me, has gotten much, much better. I know everybody was talking about Trevor Lawrence for the start that he had started the season, throwing a few more interceptions than normal. But when you look at the way they've played the last three or four or five weeks, you know, they've just been beating everybody's pants off. So uh, they look good. And for a team that lost four defensive linemen to the NFL, you look up in their defense, uh, Davo Sweeney's done so good to be able to just say next, the way he's recruited. So you can make an argument, hey, Clemson's <laughs> – Clemson's going to be a very hard out, but all of them are. I mean, when you look at Ohio State, LSU, when you get down to this point, and that's why I can't wait for the next couple of weeks, these championship games, uh, you re- you're really going to find out uh, who who's going to really rise to the top and who's going to make the plays uh, because uh, this is going to be so competitive, especially in those championship games. Before I let you go, you had success at Arkansas. It has been few and far between since, and now they're looking for another new head coach. You were at SEC coach of the year there what does it take to win at Arkansas what do they need to try to find to get that program back to being respectable in the SEC yeah that's a good question it, it's a it's a hard job but it is it's it's a good job and I think this is important the biggest thing is um you got to understand Arkansas and Arkansas and recruiting starts at home you won't be able to sign 25 athletes that's going to compete in the SEC each year from the state of Arkansas. But what you can do is keep the Darren McFadden's, the Peyton Hillis, Matt Jones, Sean Andrews, keep those uh, those guys at home. That's number one. But then you have to do a great job of evaluating. Uh, Jamal Anderson was a two- or three-star coming out of high school. Uh, Nate Garner, some of these guys, names you may not be familiar with, well, Jamar Anderson was a first rounder. And so you, you've got to do a great job of, of evaluating the state of Arkansas. And then the next state you have to be a good recruiter in is Texas. Dallas is four hours away, four and a half hours away from Fayetteville. Uh, there's direct flights. East Texas has always been good. When you look at Jason Peters, he's still playing, signed him from Queen City. Caleb Miller, Sulphur Springs, Tony Bua. You go through these names, these guys weren't highly, highly recruited, but you did have to beat TCU, Texas Tech, SMU. You've got to beat those teams, and I think that's what's important to, 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 to cover all your bases and get the athletes in speed. But I've seen this coming about really 10 years ago. It just didn't happen on Chad Morris's watch. They started getting slower about 10 years ago. And uh, you just, as you know, if you lose one class here and one class there, it doesn't take long in the SEC, especially in the West. Hey, you got problems. Mm, that's a great point. Now, you said last week that Arkansas had reached out to you to talk to you about the job. Yeah. Was that just to get your input on the next candidate, or was that to take your temperature to see if you'd be interested? I, I think a little bit of both. I think, uh, I think more just touch and base. And, uh, you know, I'm from the state of Arkansas, and uh, I, a lot of my players, and that's what makes you feel good, a lot of the former players, they're so tired of losing, um, they've reached out to me more than anyone. And uh, they, they wanted me back. So it, it, it's that. I, I think they're down the road now. I think uh, Hunter Hurecek is, uh, is out and really studying this thing and, and trying to get the, the right coach. If they wanted you to come back, would you come back? Oh, I, you know, I always miss coaching. You always miss it. It's always there. Uh, each and every year I think, hey, I'm going to go coach again. And then <laughs> uh, there's, uh, it seems like there's uh, uh, very few coaches at age 60 they just, uh, they're, they're, they're hunting for. Uh, but you always feel like you have the energy and the want to to do it. And I tell you, that's where I applaud Mac Brown and Les Miles. I think, uh, boy, they've done a heck of a job. And uh, uh, how about Butch Davis the other night beating uh, the, the Hurricanes? So uh, 
the, the old guys can still coach and uh, they still can uh, make good decisions. And uh, it, and again, it's all about recruiting. That's right. Talk about some big wins. Mac and Butch and Les yeah. have all had big wins this year. And Butch Davis just defined the program with that victory. That was no doubt. that no is doubt. a sea change type of win for FIU. Houston Nutt, you could watch him on CBS Sports Network inside college football. 